I live and breathe honey and I've been researching for over a decade now. I'm an analytical chemist, primarily focused on working with Manuka honey to help industry solve problems so that they can make their daily lives easier and be able to export Manuka. I was part of the research team that isolated the compound methylglyoxal, which is known for its non-peroxide antibacterial activity, also known as NPA, or UMF, which is on the jar when you go into the supermarket. Methylglyoxal, which is MGO, is not present in fresh honey, but it converts over time from a compound called dihydroxyacetone, or DHA, which is found in the nectar of the manuka flower. All batches of honey are different and beekeepers were unsure how to store their honey or for how long to be able to get the maximum antibacterial properties. Heating honey can degrade this property and so there's a real juggle between needing to heat a little bit or warm the honey to get a faster reaction but not too much so that it's not degraded. To solve this problem I studied multiple honeys over four years to work out the effects of the reaction looking at storage temperatures and conditions and different compounds that may have an effect on the reaction. Using this information, I was able to build the first forecast model, which helps beekeepers to be able to track honey maturation over time. This tool has helped beekeepers in the industry because no longer do they have to just wait and see the antibacterial rating. They're now able to test their freshly harvested honey and use the forecast model, which will show them the potential the honey has. As an analytical chemist, you get asked to do so many things, but my big thing is working with the industry to help make a difference. So this fits perfectly.